Hello and welcome. This video will cover the steps to add and connect to an RTX correction on a PTX Trimble GFX display. The process of purchasing, loading, and connecting to an RTX correction is comprised of three steps. First, share the serial number of your NAV500 or 900 with your PTX Trimble dealer. Once purchased, the dealer will send a QR code file or code to be placed into the display using App Central. Finally, after a display reboot, the correction can be selected and used inside Precision IQ. To begin, power on the GFX display and open App Central. If the App Central shortcut is not visible on the home screen, tap on the All Apps icon found at the bottom of the screen and then tap on App Central. To find the nav controller serial number, tap on the menu icon and then licenses. The serial number for all connected devices can be found on the left hand side. As a side note, the serial numbers can also be found inside Precision IQ Diagnostics under the System Performance tab. Record and share the serial number with your dealer. Depending on your desired RTX correction type, as well as the version of your nav controller, it is crucial to also share with them any basic to intermediate or basic to high licenses that are loaded on the nav. For example, this nav 900 has a basic to high license, allowing the use of Centerpoint RTX Fast to be utilized. After your dealer creates an RTX subscription, they will share either a QR code file, or code string that they will share with you. To load the subscription, tap the plus icon in the bottom right corner of App Central. For QR codes, choose the top icon. For a file on a USB drive, choose the SIM card icon. And for a code, choose the pencil icon. Once the code is loaded and accepted, App Central will send a notification stating that the subscription has been added. Verify that a tile is now found inside the license page and proceed to power cycle the display. Now that a RTX subscription has been created and added to the nav, it is time to select the appropriate correction inside Precision IQ. Open the Precision IQ app and tap on the GNSS tile. In the bottom right corner of the GNSS page, tap on Edit. Then tap on the correction source and select the appropriate RTX correction. If no RTX corrections are available, double check that a RTX subscription has been added and that it is not expired or starting at a later date. While the delivery method mount point and satellite ID can all be adjusted, it is not required to change any of those settings when on the latest PIQ firmware. To verify that the RTX convergence process has started, first start by tapping on the satellite icon. The correction type should state the RTX type that you have chosen. Centerpoint RTX requires a 4-inch convergence threshold before the user is allowed to enter the run screen. Navigate to Diagnostics, then GNSS Receiver Performance, and view the estimated horizontal error. Within a few minutes of Precision IQ startup, this value should get below the required 4-inch threshold. At this point, the satellite icon should turn green, allowing operations as normal. As an additional tip, since the RTX convergence process will not begin until Precision IQ is opened, it is highly recommended to power on the display and open Precision IQ during machine startup. To expedite this process, navigate to the Precision IQ settings and turn on this setting called Launch Precision IQ on Display Startup. This setting will automatically start PIQ on display power up, thus starting the convergence process with the user only needing to power on the display. Thank you for learning how to add and connect to RTX on a PTX Trimble display.